Joey, Mike Salarte, Spectrum News One. You're looking swole as always. Uh, the uh, the decision uh, to release Graham that opens the door for you to maintain th this spot on the roster. Is there uh, pressure on you, less pressure on you coming into this camp with, with them relying on you? I know the roster had to be trimmed to 80 and all that stuff, but where do you stand in terms of your, uh, your mental approach to the coming season? Uh, pretty much had the same mental approach, um, whether Graham was going to be here or not. Um, uh, I knew personally I needed to go out and, and perform to my best abilities and um, that everything else was going to kind of be in the hands of uh, those that are up top. So um, for me, things really haven't changed. And then um, since he has been gone, uh, as of last week, I've just been um, still doing the same thing that I was going to be doing if he was here. You know, I need to work on my own stuff, uh, get my, my timing and stuff like that with – with Joe uh, Charlton, the new partner that we have, um, getting my swings right, um, doing all the notes and stuff that I have to do for myself. So things really haven't changed um, since he's been gone, and they would have been pretty much the same if he was here. So, Joey, hey, uh, Josh Klein from the Rye Report. On that kind of same topic, how how much of a difference is it with a new punter and a new holder to kind of get that that – uh, that timing down and is that something that you can replicate um, in practice without actually being on the field and having people rush you? Uh, so Joe is actually uh, works with one of the kicking coaches that I've worked with um, since I was probably in junior and senior in high school. So um, we've been able to cross paths a couple times and um, was able to get out um, under some of the regulations and stuff like that to go work with them one-on-one -on -one, uh, with our coach. So I've gotten some timing already done with them before we came into camp. And then um, since we've been here, I mean, honestly, uh, at, at the professional level, the holders and punters and stuff like that, they all have really, really good hands, good good work with the ball. So um, to be able to get a rhythm with him was just, it only took a couple of days. We just had to get <clears throat> situations between JJ, him and me, um, all primed up right. And once we did that, we've been <clears throat> doing pretty well, so. Joey, have you spoken with Graham at all, or if not, and, you know, maybe did he say anything to you? Uh, yeah, I reached out to Graham, um, and we were able to talk a little bit. Um, we've always had a pretty good relationship, um, so just being able to talk to him, just give my best. He gives me his best, so um, I, uh, everything else we'll obviously not really talk about, but, um, yeah, just being able to say that I'm, I'm always going to be in his corner. He's been someone that's been um, – uh, a role model for me um, and, and always been there for me since last year. When I got in, I was able to call him during some of the games last year when I was doing well, when I was doing bad. So um, he's, he's always been a really good role model for me. So I'm always going to wish him the best. So, Joey, just curious, how does a kicker get their swings in and get reps during a pandemic, during quarantine? Uh, for me, um, I was lucky enough to, to get on a couple fields um, back in my hometown um, that I had some like, private private access to um, and was able to work on um, my own my own work just off sticks. Um, and then uh, we had a couple places here uh, that we were able to get on just due to knowing the athletic directors in the area. Um, we were able to get clearance for it and stuff like that. So uh, the kicking coach that I was working with, we were just able to get some one-on-one -on -one time there. So. And then, obviously, once we get back in the camp, we're able to, be able to actually work with the team um, and kick whatever I want, pretty much. So, it really Joey, doesn't really impact you because of the fact that you're not dealing with anybody one on one. You're you can set the ball up on your on your stick and just and and, and work on your craft. So, the, the kicking side of it and the workout side of it, it seems like you might be the most unaffected guy when it comes to an, a, a football player uh, because of COVID. Uh, yeah, to be honest with you, it kind of was that a lot of people um, coming back kind of asked me like what what the changes were for me um, this off season compared to all the other well, not the other off seasons I've had. I've only had really one, but um, like just how my work ethic and everything had to change compared to COVID. But um, I was lucky enough to kind of have some situations where um, I had a gym that could, I could work out in. Um, because I worked there as an employee uh, prior to coming to the NFL. So I had access there and then I was able to get on a couple of fields of kick. So for me, training was pretty regular. Um, and then obviously just staying inside, self quarantining away from everyone else and, and eating right, working out, training well. So I've been prepped for this pretty well coming into this year. Joey, do you, Joey, you, have goals? 
having uh, to go through a preseason game and, you know, basically the first time you'll kick um, and week one will be the first time you kicked in nine months in a, in a game setting? Um, I, I think I heard the back end of it, but just the difference between not having preseason games versus kicking during the first game of the season. Yes, it's pretty much yeah. what I was Yeah, so uh, luckily the position that I play, uh, they don't change the field goals out in the preseason compared to the regular season, so it's pretty much the same thing. Um, I mean, the rushes sometimes during the preseason are a little bit different. Obviously, some guys aren't really trying to get hurt. So preseason game wise, they might have just different block protections or, or rush protections against us and might not rush as hard. But then the fourth fourth group of guys might come in and they're all trying to get jobs on a team. So they might rush harder than everyone else. So it just depends on that. But once we get in the season, um, it's me, the ball and the field goal post. And I'm just trying to keep that rhythm throughout the season. So preseason games aren't. For me personally, um, it's going to be pretty much the same thing. So, what are you most trying to improve in on this season, Joey? Now that you are an established NFL kicker and that goal's checked off, what is next for you? Uh, so for me, I mean, I'm, I'm constantly trying to improve um, myself, my mental game, my physical game. Um, obviously, be more consistent during the season. Uh, I had some up and down, ups and downs last year and just trying to tighten that window between what my best ball is and what my worst ball is. Um, and then obviously just uh, being able to critique things on the fly, get better, like kick the kick week to week, stuff like that. So um, having the first like kind of 16 game season under my belt um, definitely helped to kind of understand what it, what it takes to be week to week going into a game. So um for me, it's, it's been just the consistency of my swing, being able to recall it um, every single time. And if I can get the right timing on my on my swing and the timing snap hold is the same, then I'll be fine. Joey, this is Deshaun with Channel 9. I hope you're well. You talked about some of the things you do to address your physical game. How do you work on the mental aspect of your game? Um, so one of the big things that was kind of discussed last year um, – I had that little notebook that people saw me writing in um, and just continuing that through throughout the process of this off season. Um, I've been trying to, I mean, there's, there's some mental stuff like subconscious conscious mindsets and get into like a kind of a flow state of, of work. And so you kind of work your best when you're in flow. And so for me, if I can get my subconscious and conscious mind to work together, then um, game situations, no matter what the, what the, the, the pressure of anything is you kind of get into the same state every single time. So um, for me, just continually being able to recall things as soon as they happen and, and understand um, every little piece of it like, and, and breaking it down that way um, for me, it's really helped me going into the season and also the, the back end of last year as well. Hey, Joey, David Newton, ESPN.com. Uh, speaking of that notebook, what's something you've written down in there during this off season that, that might be, yeah, really memorable for you. And as you look back and say, wow, I can't believe that. Um, I wouldn't say there was really anything memorable. I mean, um, simplistically put, most of the stuff I put in that book is just uh, um, like you, you got every day. I, I said this a while ago with some of my coaches that I've worked with, but you got to kind of teach yourself every single day how to kick. Um, it's the same type of mentality that someone that golfs or has some type of technical slash skill aspect they got to go in every single day and like go through the checks and cues and then obviously the more you do it the quicker you recall it um but even like when i do exercises and stuff like that you've been under a bar you want to brace you want to push your knees out you want to do it with everything when you squat so bringing that same type of mentality into kicking and really making sure that you go through every single one of your checkpoints because the last thing you want to do is not go through that process um and then get caught up in the fact that you might have rushed it or you, you didn't think about what you should have done. So for me, that's been a, a constant for me. So there's nothing really in the book that I was like, you're amazing or you're, you're the greatest guy ever. Like I never really wrote anything like that in there, but um, for me to be diligent and, and really buy into the process of doing that every single day has been something that's just been able to keep in my mind a, little, a lot better. So anything else for Joey guys? Hey Joey, uh, just what's the um, what's the thought process for a kicker if there are a foot if it's a full stadium, half 
filled stadium or no fans at all, does that make any difference at all for you? Or are you just kind of, you're just looking right at the goalposts? You're to be honest with you, with you, when you're out there, you're pretty much in the zone. Um, I mean, when I played in some of the loudest stadiums, um, through my college career and some of that of my NFL career, um, already just the short, sh- short time I've been in here there, you can hear things and then also not hear anything during like when you're on the field, obviously when you're at home, it's usually a little quieter when you're on the road, it's going to be super loud if you're the opposing kicker. So there's the give and take in that, but when you're out there, you, everything just kind of like kind of blackout state, you know, you kind of go out there, you go through your stuff, but you're not really hearing anything. So, um, I know some of the other sports have played the crowd noise, like the big crowd noise and stuff, just to give it like that atmosphere. And I think more of it's just to, to keep away the, the, the coaches talking so that they can't hear the other person's um, game plan and stuff like that. But um, just going out there and just, just getting in the zone and getting in the rhythm is, is all I'm really worried about. Nice. One more round. Just like- Go ahead. Go ahead. Elaine. Um, Joey, I was just wondering, you know, we talk a lot about the change on this team and all the new coaches, but you know, you're pretty consistent with still working with Chase. How nice is that to have that consistency from last year with, you know, Polarity gone and all of the changes going on? Um, I mean, the, the big thing is just the fact that everything's kind of, kind of been compressed a little bit. Like we didn't have this, our OTAs and stuff like that and our, our training camp stuff. So everything's kind of being compressed a little bit. And so for me to have the familiarity with Chase already, we didn't have that like interval part of like, Hey, what do you want as a coach? So I could kind of already have that. So for me, it's been like kind of just getting back on the same foot and going. So, um, definitely a benefit to have Chase back. Um, as our, as our special teams coordinator, and just plus like the, the relationship that you already have with them and stuff like that, you're able to just talk to them on a different level and, and go about things on a different level. So 